Okay, well, okay. Okay, Streamlabs is a couple of things anyway. So this is Streamlabs OBS. If you don't know OBS, the open broadcaster software, and this is basically a an extension on top of OBS that makes it so it's much easier to work with stuff. So you have much better ways to do layouts. You can integrate, yeah, here you go. The layouts are just way, way nicer. Um, you have integration with, the old, this is how people do things like having the chat on the screen, things like that. Uh, basically all of that's actually coming from Streamlabs. You can have your donations coming in. You can have all of those sort of notifications popping up. All of that's actually being done through Streamlabs. Um, now, Streamlabs also has a web client you can use as well. Uh, can I find it? Mm, no. Okay. It has a web client as well, and you can basically link that web client to the browser plugin and basically do the same sort of stuff like that. However, it's a bit finicky on Linux. Sometimes the browser plugin will break. Sometimes just OBS web client will break. And it's just not great. Plus, um, I think the Streamlabs client also has like your chat feed in it as well. So you don't need a separate application for that. And you have your donations in the, the feed on that screen as well. So it's not just like a separate thing on your, your visuals. Uh, or having like a web browser open off to the side with the online client there. So it's just all integrated nicely together. Now the really, really annoying thing about Streamlabs OBS is the fact that it shouldn't be only available on Windows and there's a very good reason for that. So let's actually go look up Streamlabs OBS. And what you're gonna notice is, uh, let's see, Streamlabs OBS. And if we go search for this alongside of it, uh, where is it? So this right here is the Electron JS website. This right here is the Electron JS website for Streamlabs OBS. So Streamlabs OBS is an Electron application. Why would you build something in Electron and then only release it on one operating system? Why would you even bother using Electron at that point? Oh, my phone's making noise. Because Electron, quite slow if you don't know. If you don't know, Electron is a basically a desktop application or desktop framework for writing with JavaScript, which is not the best thing to do in the first place. But if you want to do it, hey, it's, a, it's an easy way to get cross-platform software. So, Streamlabs OBS or Streamlabs, why is the application written in Electron and then only available on Windows? Now, I don't think it's available on Mac OS either. I don't know why. Like, we're going to try this. Is this available on Mac OS? Streamlabs OBS. No, it is only available on Windows. Why? Why would you write it in Electron and then only release it on Windows? Now, if you don't know, the base version of OBS... It's available basically anywhere. You can run it on Windows, you can run it on Mac OS, you can run it on Linux. I think there might even be an ARM version of it. I could be wrong in that respect. We're gonna go find out now. So OBS. I very well could be wrong for that. I don't know why you'd wanna use OBS on an ARM system. But, uh, download, let's see. Okay, maybe you can't run it on, maybe you cannot run it on ARM, but there is a, there's even a 32-bit installer as well if you want to use that. Yeah, here you go. You run on, like, anything, really. Um, so, OBS is available on Linux. Streamlabs OBS, written in Electron, is not available on Linux. Very bizarre. Uh, so, when I do set up that capture PC, just so I can make use of Streamlabs OBS and make my life considerably easier, yeah, it's going to be like that. For the time being, however, I'm going to have to do it through like the Qt web browser because there are things I do want to record on Linux. Uh, not a ton. Most of the stuff that I'm probably going to do is going to be a lot of uh, game streaming. And as much as people can say that gaming on Linux is great, I'm just going to do it on Windows because it's going to be easier. I'm probably going to run a stripped down ISO. Uh... But apart from that, it's just going to be easier on Windows. Which I don't like, but it's sort of just the way it is at this point. Uh, there are some games I do want to play that are 
supposedly working fine on Linux. Like I've mentioned it previously on the ProtonDB website, the rating for Ty the Tasmanian Tiger is Platinum. So that game should work perfectly inside of Proton. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a which it, it, it amuses it amuses me that that game just works so nicely. I guess because it's it's just a PS2 port, and there's not really there's no DRM going on with it or anything like that. It's just a basic PS2 port. I don't I think they might have upgraded the no they didn't upgrade the textures. Uh, I know they added like a hard mode or something like that, but apart from that, yeah. Uh, I think the hard mode is like one death and you restart or something <laughs> which is always fun to have in a platformer